Oh, this guy's in salty mood. Okay. Uh, there we are. Okay. So now we're pretty much dry on the top. And I am going to sit down here. <laughs> I did tell the, the people to stop working. He told me that he had um, just one more piece to do the roofing. Um, and he says, it's supposed to rain at two o'clock today. So I really need to get this on there. Can I just please put this? And I told him he had five minutes before, uh, five minutes to get it done and get in his truck and go home. <laughs> <laughs> because the city ordinance says that you're not allowed to work after dark and it has been dark for a long time so we're just going to smoosh some white and uh, we're not going to be um, doing the true flower here on this allium that will be in a different um, we'll, we'll draw that together, but in this painting, because this painting is more impressionistic, we're just kind of blobbing on in threes. I've never had to tell, uh, adults anything in this neighborhood. <laughs> kids I have had to tell them to to like behave be nice to one another like we have um a drive or next to our driveway we have a little parking lot for our guests it's a little parking pad whatever uh because you can't park on the grass here in our town and so um next to our driveway we have a two-car two-car parking pad that we put in with pea gravel and the kids we had a swing out on a tree for the for Ina and her friends to swing on and Ina got you know too big to swing on the, the swing um, or you know maybe not too big but too old uh, to swing on it and uh, we took the swing down not too long ago and the kids were out there like um took the school bus and playing in the rocks and they were throwing the rocks at everybody in the parking pad because they didn't have the swing to swing on anymore i was like sorry sorry mrs tamayo <laughs> We were bored. We didn't have the swing. I'm like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's just so sad. <laughs> oh, man. Kids are funny. So the globe flower through here, it has, um, you know, some flowers on the edge through here and, and they're going to kind of, uh, be a little bit more translucent, but let me see what you see. Let me see what you see. I gotta see what you see without seeing it up this time. Okay. Oh, let me refresh. So I can see what you see. No, oh, come on. There we go. It's still just a banging. <laughs> okay, so we, we're going to add like a little bit more white um, around the... Um, yeah, oops, I'm going to... I'm not... Uh, I'm not scared of white. I want some white on that stem, but I added a lot of white to that stem. Might have to 
come back and get a little off. It's okay. All right, so with my white, we've got the pink and the red and the everything in there, and we're still going, we're just going to keep adding in like these little white. One, two, three, four, and you know, the allium flower, um, you don't have to put four, um, four little blossoms there. It's just to have like a little impression of the flower. We want those to be kind of bright. We want the white to be nice and bright. Right. Let's see what you see. And right in here, I'm going to put just a little bit more, kind of like make this a little bit heavier right here in the forward area. a little bit of water to your white. If you want. Let it be a little bit more translucent because if it's more of a translucent, it's going to look like it's maybe in the back of the flower. Just a little touch more down here, just to kind of fill it out in that area. So we have a nice round globe shape. And then let me look at our original, which in the original, it has like a lot of, um, has a lot of, of just like little white dots, but I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. bigger, more exciting dots in there.
a little heavier handed on some of these and it's okay. Go a little heavier. Now, if you feel like you want to add like a little tint of blue, and take your white in that ocean green, and you can kind of add in like just a little tint of blue and some of that white. Because we're not doing a super detailed flower, we're just doing like a little impressionistic, kind of like if you squinted your eyes. Just grab some of this green and we'll go in. Stem a little, little help. There we go. And if we wanted just a little bit more of that blue color, we could add it in there. Like that. We'll check our original drawing, our original painting, which is really crazy. While we have that green on here, maybe we might want to add in some more green blob in there. Let's see what that looks like. So, and um, the reality is, is that whenever you start your background with a, the alcohol and the water color effects, what that does is that it directs your painting. So you can kind of work your way forward and um, not lose the intention of what it was that you were going to be doing, right? So that is one of the reasons why we like to do it that way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take another one, number one brush and a little bit of this burnt sienna and some water. And I am going to outline my butterfly. with the burnt sienna a little bit of the blue the um that dark prussian blue a little bit of that and we had just a little bit of tint happening like um like a white was happening on top of the the blue and the brown Don't need to be perfect. Okay. 
And then this just kind of adds like the little finishing touch. Just a little finishing touch. Put some nice gyration between there. little wiggle of that blue a little wiggle over here a little wiggle here and we'll put a little bit more blue in the middle here and I think that we have a really nice looking flower with a butterfly let's see I think that there's like one little edge over here that if I wanted to straighten it up, that would be what I would want to do. Let's just straighten that up real quick. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Let's add just a little bit of blue like right in here on top of that brown. See what that looks like. I think it's coming together quite nice. I think that I want to add a little bit of blue down here, though. I think that this looks a little too much. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Sometimes you just got to experiment with it a little bit. I can, from my angle, not everything looks. From my angle, some things look a little crazy. So let's just see what it looks like to you. All right, so tomorrow on, um, on Pencil Creative Journey, which you can catch the replay later if you don't end up watching, you will see me uh, using this particular painting as a photo reference. You'll see me using it um, as a reference for creating mixed media. And what you will see me doing over there is exactly what I did today for you. I showed you how to direct your, direct your, your uh, design using um, a little bit of mixed media techniques. So I used the water soluble pins, which are markers, and um, and then I let them kind of set and, and dry, and it kind of had my little blurry vision that I wanted to create, had my little blurry vision that I wanted to create, and so then I was able to kind of pull all of it forward. Now, if I wanted to, even from here, if I wanted to, I could go back in and I could add like a little bit more detailing, but I like this out of focus look. This is like what I love. I love this little out of focus look. It's my, it's definitely my way. So I'm going to cut like a little blob right there because it looked like it needed it right there. Um, the out of focus way is just my way and I like it. It makes me, um, makes, it makes me more happy, but I might just go in and put like a couple of little pink, little pink accents kind of here and here and there. Just to kind of add like a little bit more pink in it. I think I like the pink. And I don't think that that hurts. <laughs> I don't think that hurts anything to add like a little bit of pink. So 
that you'll see that all right so there we go that will be it and then from here while the painting is wet oh this is this is the part okay while the painting is wet I, I usually like to let everything dry um, because it's got like a little rippling and everything. And then after it dries, you can come back and you can peel away all of that tape and um, you can, you can have, you know, like a nice crisp edge and everything. Um, now, if I were to add any extra details on here, this is what I will probably show tomorrow on a uh, painted soul creative journey is me going in and adding a little pencil action on top of this white just to kind of give a little extra something to it so i might want to do like a little pencil action and uh, you don't have to do that um maybe i might even kind of come in and do my fun little my fun little leaves or whatever but um you don't have to do that. That's kind of what I did here today on Folk City Art. I worked on this particular painting uh, for, uh, it was a design that uh, Karen Arthur got in her So Much Art in a Box. She used one of my floral designs from uh, Folio by Design. And um, so she was able to use this as a licensed product for her. So this was, this was, um, she, hers to use and I went in and I showed how I would paint it in my style but that doesn't mean that everybody would paint in the same style as me this is just my style I like doing some fun weird stuff I like adding these little pencil lines in my art and this little funky funky stuff in my art it just kind of makes it more my own just like in this um Remember whenever I was showing you how to paint the, um, I was showing you how to do the hyacinth well. <laughs> Remember, we did this together. Uh, well, when I finish off my hyacinth, I've got like all these little funky, little uh, kind of weird, little folksy, uh, kind of Scandinavian little designs kind of going on in here. Little, little little weird um kind of weird tribal looking kind of weird designs or whatever in my art that's just because that's part of my art that's the way I do art just like in let's see if I can reach some of my art that I did with you during um during spring symposium you see how all of the colors are kind of looking the same so like in this iris I also pulled in like these little funky like again a little Scandinavian twig and like these fun little um little, little leafy designs and crazy little uh squares and blobs and all kinds of bits all over the place same thing here with the ranunculus you know you you see that my style is really kind of funky and so I like to pull in like all these crazy little doodles now all and this is also a mixed media piece this was done with crayon and marker and paint and um there might even be a little pencil action in there but so you can see that you can actually create your own look this is my look this is my signature look maybe you have a certain type of stroke that you like to use maybe you like a one stroke maybe you like um maybe there's a certain color palette that really defines you um and your art so anyway i think that i'm really happy with this it's time to clean my brushes and time to let this dry and then in the morning if i come back and i i see that maybe there's like some little tweaks or whatever that i might want to tweak um what I will do is I will probably use crayon or maybe my, uh, my, um, I might use, let's see. 
I might go ahead and use these uh, illustration markers over here because these are a little bit more indelible because they are alcohol ink. So um, they're, they are a little bit more uh, permanent so they will probably work nicely over the acrylic if I decide that I want to add a little something extra to this art. But right now I think that I'm just perfectly satisfied with it and it looks really similar to what I had uh, intended to do for tomorrow so I'm really happy I think I like it okay so that sum, sums up part four so we have this particular uh, piece was done in four layers all right maybe there will be a fifth we'll just have to see